Hey guys, it's Bonnie. I know it's been a little while, um, and I promised I was going to be better about that, but man, this semester has been a doozy so far. Um, so I'm in my final semester. I'm going to be done in August, and right now I'm doing my internship at the local hospital. I am on the med surge floor, and it's been interesting and challenging and fun and sad and I've had all kinds of experiences so far. Um, I still don't really feel like a nurse yet, I guess you would say. Um, I think that's going to come with time. But um, I've had some really interesting experiences. Um, yesterday I had a patient, I, well I had, we've been doing like six hours on the floor and six hours in our simulation lab. So Saturday and Sunday I had the same patients, um, different preceptors. But um, one of the patients I had had prostate cancer, very sick, um, been sick for about eight years, and he's been having bladder spasms due to the advancing cancer. And I had a very intense conversation with him about how he's ready to die um, he wants to go be with God and he was smiling and he was so happy to finally be able to let go he says I just want this to happen fast so I can go be with God and start my new job and it was just I've never encountered anything like that so far with patients and it was very touching and very um, the most honest I've ever seen somebody be talking about I guess death and dying and um, it was very hard, I guess, to listen to, but um, he thanked me for speaking with him and listening to him, and I just wanted to cry. I mean, I didn't know what to do. I, I left the room with this kind of just heavy, intense feeling, and I don't know if anybody else has experienced something like this, but I don't know. I've been kind of thinking about it ever since, and I was thinking, wow, he has such an amazing attitude about everything, and you know, he has such a strong belief system that he is ready, and we just don't always see that, so it's very interesting to see, and it's good to see, I think, but um, I'm just like, man, I, I hope if I was ever in that situation that I would be, you know, as in good a shape as he was mentally and spiritually, but it was an interesting situation. I've had a mix of preceptors so far. Some of them have been really, really good and really supportive, and some of them have been not so good. Um, I had one that was just, she didn't want to show me how to do anything. She didn't want to help me kind of set up my day, and she was very adamant that she didn't want students, and it just made it so hard for me. And I literally wanted to cry after that experience. But I just went to my clinical instructor and, you know, they said, okay, you know, if you're not comfortable with her, we won't put you with her again. So hopefully I won't be with her again. I only have four times left on the floor, and um, which is kind of scary. I have four just straight 12-hour shifts. Um, is this enough? No, I don't think so. Um, I don't think we had nearly enough time on the floor or, I mean, there's so many skills I haven't done yet, like I haven't done a fully catheter, I mean, there's just some basic things that I haven't gotten to do, on a real person anyways. Um, I got to start an IV finally by doing it on my preceptor, so that was good. Um, and I've done some other things that I have never done. Like I removed a Foley catheter. I have done central line dressing change. I have um, doppled a pulse. And I find myself getting better at my assessment skills. Um, you know, kind of each and every time. It's just the, the time management and, you know, kind of knowing when to do things and how to set up your day, I think, is, is the hardest for me. And then I tend to get a little frazzled and I'll like mess up something simple like I'll put on somebody's oxygen upside down or something. 
you know, just like silly things. And then I'm like, oh, I can't believe I did that. So I don't know if anybody else has experienced this, but where you just get totally kind of frazzled and it just kind of goes downhill from there. But overall, it's been really good. If I don't allow myself to get frazzled, it's really good. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of how things have been going. Um, how, you know, I kind of want to see how everybody else is doing or if anybody has questions or if anybody has suggestions or similar stories, you know, feel free to let me know. Um, I have to take a comprehensive ATI predictor test on Tuesday because 50% of my internship grade is actually ATI testing. So, which is weird, but um, anyways, wish me luck on that. I'm going to be studying for that today. Um, I have been studying for it previously. But, um, yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. And, again, you know, feel free to ask me anything, and I'm really open about, you know, anything. So I hope everyone has a fantastic week, and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Have a great day and a great week. Peace.